all of this, Janae. Officers and crime scene unit investigators really just wrapped up within the last hour. They removed the crime scene tape from this home right here behind me. Today I had a chance to speak to several neighbors who tell me that this tight knit community still very shaken up. Some neighbors were evacuated from their homes last night, taken to the woods here and didn't get back home until three o'clock this morning. Now this standoff, nearly seven hour standoff, Metter Jr. told his wife to come home. When she got there, deputies say Metter told her she was going to die. He then called 911 and hung up. That's when deputies came. Investigators tell me his wife ran out when they got to their home. Deputies say Metter shot her and then fired at one of the responding officers. The Sheriff's Department say Metter shot Deputy Matthew Self multiple times. He is still at the hospital tonight recovering after surgery. The most recent incident that happened last night, it's not the first time officers have been called to this couple's home. We know of at least 13 calls in the last 10 years. Despite that history, deputies say there are just some things you can't prepare for. Uh, so we've only had a few uh, uh, calls in which uh, that were domestic related. And unfortunately, we answer a lot of domestic related calls every day. And so you can't let anything be routine. So you try and, and consider that. But the, the 911 is often kids playing on the phone. So you really don't know what you're going into face when that occurs.